Gopal Krishna Gokhale Gopal Krishna Gokhale was one of the pioneers of the Indian independence movement and was a senior leader of the Indian National Congress. He was a leader of social and political reformists and one of the earliest and founding leaders of the Indian independence movement and was respected widely in the Indian intellectual community. In 1884, after the completion of his graduation in arts at the Elphinstone College, Bombay, Gokhale joined as professor of history and political economy at the Ferguson College, Pune. He remained on the staff, finally as principal, until 1902. Becoming actively identified with the National Congress movement, he was for some years the Joint Secretary and in 1905 President at the Banaras Session. The higher education made Gokhale understand the importance of liberty, democracy and parliamentary system of the government. In 1985-86, Gopal Krishna Gokhale met a great scholar and a social reformer Mahadev Govind Ranade. Ranade was a great leader, judged scholar and above all social reformer. Gokhale regarded Mahadev Govinda Ranade as his guru. Ranade helped Gokhale in establishing the Servants of India Society in 1905. The main objective of this society was to train Indians to raise their voices and serve their country. Gokhale also worked with Ranade in a quarterly journal called Sarvajanik. The journal wrote about the public questions of the day in frank and fearless manner. Gokhale was the secretary of the reception committee of the 1895 Pune session of Indian National Congress and from this session, Gokhale became a prominent face of the Indian National Congress. For a while Gokhale was a member of the Bombay Legislative Council where he spoke strongly against the then government. In 1905, Gokhale was sent by the Congress on a special mission to England to spread India's constitutional demands among the British leaders. Gokhale was instrumental in the formation of the Minto Mali Reforms of 1909, which was tabled. The Reforms Act became law in 1909 but it was disappointing that despite Gokhale's efforts, the people were not given a proper democratic system. However, Gokhale's efforts were clearly not in vain and Indians now had access to seats of the highest authority within the government and their voices were more audible in matters of public interest. Gokhale, during his visit to South Africa in 1912, met Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Gokhale made him aware of the issues confronting common people back in India. In his autobiography, Gandhi calls Gokhale his mentor and guide. Not only Gandhi, Gokhale also guide Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan.